Uh, it's at the right ankle. And we talked to some folks at Central Michigan. That right ankle is where he plants the most. And with it not being 100%, we don't know if he's going to be able to go. And we mentioned both running backs they can use in the Wildcat. They've worked and taken reps there. It's Ontario Brown who takes the snap, and he gets just absolutely demolished by Trey Jones. Look who's in the backfield. It is Lou Nichols, number seven in white. He is back for the first time in two games. They'll throw it again, this time to the top of the screen, and Chris Parker... And boy, this is a really good sign for the Chippewas to see him in the ball game. Jace Bauer in at quarterback in the pistol, fakes the handoff to Nichols and rolling out by himself. Picks up the first down. His specialty is using his legs, and that really helped them in their last game. He's really kind of desperate to do anything to get some offense going. And Jim McElwain in his fourth season with Central Michigan. Bauer keeping it and just putting his head down and rolling forward all the way inside of the six yard line. So much expecting to see DeJavy on stage. Bauer keeps it. Pound. Touchdown to Boaz. Hit 16 carries for 109 yards a week ago, and they come back to a, a looks like the same play as 36 Christian Brown leads it up in there. and. They're 0 for 1 tonight. They turned it over deep in CMU territory on their last possession on fourth down. Kremaskoli airing it out and just misses his target. Tasper Rutkowitz, really good mm, yeah. teams who are playing in the NFL right now. Richardson off play action. Complete for the first down to the 50-yard line. Kind of surprised they didn't put Bowers in here. Hey, we haven't seen Bauer in this drive. They alternated on the first drive. Richardson airing it out, connecting to Finn Hogan. The X, the slot, and the Z. Richardson over the middle. Joel Wilson back on the field. Touchdown was ruled. Oh, it's a touchdown. I, I, yeah. yeah, he definitely crossed the, the goal line. And, and as he comes down, the ball comes out down the hash. Yeah, that's that's a yeah. touchdown. Ball crosses the line. It comes out as he hits the ground. He looks that way, and the pass tipped up in the air and intercepted by NIU. Jordan White has the football. Trying to catch the football, you see 48 and White, and all of a sudden, White comes in, pushes 48, and makes the interception. I. I Listen, I, I could eat my words on this, but I, I would punt this football and try to pin CMU back. Whaley, he's got him, but he's short. Short of the first down. They have not been afraid to change quarterbacks during a series. Take the handoff to Nichols, and here goes Chase Bauer using his left. That's what he's best at. He's so good when he can run the football. He already has a rushing touchdown tonight. And number two in white. He's going up top. Throws one up to Tyson Davis. It's caught! Tyson Davis, his first catch of the season is a touchdown. For what Central Michigan has been able to do tonight. Most of, most of his runs, though, straight up the middle, all of them. And that time, NIU made the adjustment. Ray Thomas. I think the ball may have come out there, Courtney. Yeah, NIU's got it. Bertine pulls the football out and recovers it himself. The ground. Now, this will be a good look right here to see if a knee's down. And no, I, I think Routine. Just that's a yeah, that's an wow. absolute takeaway. Elzinga punting. Cole Tucker back for the Huskies. That's gonna be a flag on NIU for jumping over the personal protector. Personal foul. Number 37, receiving team, leaping the punch shield. It's a 15-yard penalty for the previous spot. Automatic first down. Really worried about the Hail Mary. They've got defenders at, at the normal depth. Nichols. He's got the leg. Oh, just short, I think. Just short. First season we've seen Nevin, who's a preferred walk-on for NIU. 
This is Harrison Whaley. His best run of the night to the 35. Third down, NIU one for eight. Oh, great effort. They got it. Look, you've got great running backs, and, and you can get back in this game. There's the, plenty of time left. They're the only team in the MAC that has two rushers in the top 10 in yards per game. Shamar Thornton, a big time pickup. I've no question. You. Deepest into Central Michigan territory they have been in. Whaley looking for any kind of room he can take, running with a purpose here. Second and goal pistol look. From Scully rolling, connecting to Liam Sorhan. It is a touchdown for NIU. They've been looking for it all night. The ruling on the field is a touchdown. And you'll see him roll outside the pocket. I don't know how he makes that throw. Goodness. At halftime, but it got him going. Look totally different. So now how does Central Michigan respond? Jaden McGoy pass complete. Perfectly. Richardson 10 for 16. Completes another pass to Carlos Carrier. Daniel Richardson back on third down. To the air he goes, no doubt about it. Carlos Carrier first down. Well, that's what he tried the last time, and he came about a yard short. They fake it. Little jump pass. Okay. He fumbled it. Oh, he fumbled it, but he got it back. Oh, my goodness. This is just Maction. Maction <laughs> at its finest, Courtney. Sweating. Bauer and Nichols in the backfield. Bauer again. He pulls it. Using Nichols to block for him. Punches it in. Chase Bauer in the end zone for the second time tonight. You know, a lot of time left here, but they've got to get points on this drive. Well, if they can have a drive like they did coming out of the locker room, it started with running the football with this guy, Harrison Whaley. That is a great start to the 40 in Central Michigan territory. Whaley has had a heck of a second half. From Ascoli to the air by himself, Tristan Tavis all alone. And they're going to go for two. Reverse to the throw to the end zone. The pass is caught by the quarterback, Nevin Kremaskoli. The Husky special. They give it to Lou. Fumbled he it. Fumbled it. Popped out and scooped up. Isaiah Green May down the sideline for the Huskies. Look at a stop all game. Take a look at this. Nichols, this is his second fumble of the game. Doesn't have the football the secure. on the field is a fumble. Recovered by the defense. Returned for a touchdown. So now third and ten. In trouble. Ball comes out. Ball comes out in the end zone. That might be a touchdown. The White Hat was trying to make a signal and just got ran into by a Central Michigan player. Thomas Incombe forced the fumble. And, and Central is going to go for two here. Yeah, Incombe doing a great job putting the pressure on Crema Scoli. Harrison Whaley was a big part of that, and they give him the football again. He's got the 30 and then some, got the sideline in front of him. Look at the speed, tripped up at the 40. Dante Kent finally grabbed him. Kremaskoli is going to throw. Up to the top of the screen, Shamar Thornton. Third and nine from the 29. He's flushed out of the pocket. Good throw, connection made, McCray. Situation like this in college football. They throw it up, Thornton, but he overthrows him. And he had him, Courtney, he just missed him. Second half. Fumble comes out, picked up by NIU. 
Jordan Hansen has the football and a flag down. A fumble. And that's a big hit. Brown's the one that strips the ball out. Intercepted. Trey Jones leapt up in the air and took it away. What do you expect on midweek matches? We saw three quarterbacks on one drive. We did? <laughs> We've seen five quarterbacks total. Yes. <laughs> We've seen it all. Maxim, baby. I love it. <laughs> Coach McElwain's just like, <laughs> Lord have mercy. How do we get this win? Again, the goal was whatever quarterback helped them move the football was the quarterback they would put in on that play. Jace Bauer, Daniel Richardson, and for the first time this season, Burt Emanuel all coming in, all playing key roles.